What's good YouTube, it's your boy No Limit CJ. Welcome to a brand new video. Now today, I'm gonna be giving you guys a story time. It's gonna be somewhere around the lines of get outside your head, get out your head. Yo, for real, like real talk, we can really be our biggest enemy. Now, everybody around you will be saying, yo, keep going, keep doing your thing, and you could be that one person that's saying, nah, I don't got this, I'm, I'm not doing well, I don't know what I'm doing. We end up robbing ourselves of really what we're actually capable of doing. I'm really just giving you guys a story time. This literally happened like yesterday. But yeah, I wanted to share this message right here because I feel like a lot of people are gonna relate to this story right here. Let me give you guys the rundown. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already if you guys want to see more story times and really just topics of discussion let me know in the comment section below a topic and we'll get we'll cover it let's get straight in so and honestly dates back to when we started this channel so when we really started posting um christian related content i still am pivoting and trying to figure out like how to manage what god gave me i have a channel with 29,000, it's about to hit 30,000. And I have this channel I'm really trying to steward right now and watch over and help it get out there because I feel like I'm more passionate about this right now than I am about 2K. Here we go, kind of dates to then, okay? So what happened is during this transition time, I was so passionate. I was like, yo, I'm a vlog. Um, the Christian retreat we was at. I'm gonna walk in here like I got a milli because God gave me my own testimony that I can share my story better than anybody can tell my story. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for you too. Anybody, you can't, no one can tell your story better than you can, right? So automatically that should give you some confidence in what you got, bro. Your story is important. But man, I came out with the vlog, the the interviews, the car, you know, when we was playing, like putting you guys on the music and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, like God's really giving me some ideas. So you can say I was walking on water, okay? That's gonna be the scripture we look at. But I'm basically saying I was, you know what I'm saying? I was going, I was, you know, moving i have experience on this youtube thing so i kind of know how to research i know how to get videos out there so i'm just gonna move in i'm just gonna move in my vision you know the vision that god gave me and all of a sudden bro i caught myself yesterday just laying down just like i can't think of a video i'm stressed out i'm looking at all the problems okay i don't have this thing figured out not making me money right now which is not the you know it's not the end all be all i'm okay i don't enjoy the game i grew up playing and that i've made a lot of subscribers on like it's just bad it's just a bad thing and all of that is just taking away my hope man it took away all my hope and i'm just like bro what am i doing am i even doing the right thing like should i get a job right now like bro all this stuff is just attacking me and sitting bro he was weighing me down i'll tell you right now i love getting vulnerable because people think christian is just all roses man it's it's really not like i really had my moment moment of weakness man satan just just crept into my own mind and I was speaking some things just of doubt just so much things that so many reasons to doubt right were just coming into my head and I was just saying into existence I can't do this I don't even know what I'm doing I have no idea what video I'm gonna make next or even for the next year how am I gonna figure this out right and all these things are not terrible questions but they're so doubtful because I'm not going to God I'm going to myself and my own thought all that weight is not meant for us to carry God already has this divine plan for all of us I just have to trust him and walk in it you know what I'm saying I just have to literally just move literally just laying down scrolling on TikTok not knowing what to do i'm just struggling in my head man but god works in amazing ways i feel like the holy spirit is real okay the moment i needed it most my boy isaiah called me right then and there and you know what's funny he called me and asked me yo how are you doing is there any way i can encourage you right now bro i'm like yo there's no way he just called me right now there's no way like, i needed him in that moment and he came through it just reminds me of just like scriptures and proverbs about how a brother sticks closer you know and he, he draws to you when you need him so he called me right in a moment of need. He was like, yo, is there anything I can encourage you with? And I'm just like, bro, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. I feel like I am I got all this talent, this gift that God gave me, and I have no idea how to use it. Am I doing it wrong? Am I supposed to be doing this 30K channel? Am I supposed to be in a job right now because I'm not making as much money as I was like last month? What am I doing? Like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? And he just called me down. Sometimes you need those people to hold you accountable, hold you up, and pick you up, right? People that's gonna remind you and speak positive things. He's like, yo, CJ, bro, it's obvious you know what you wanna do, right? It's so obvious that you know you want to do the thoughts that you're thinking about all relate to this channel right here and you're trying to make it work and it's not there yet yes you're not you're not at your destination do you believe that god is using you right now in this moment to help other people to see him he's reminding me of like what i did with my 2k channel like i really had no clue what i was doing but i made it happen man you know when there's a will there's a way all right and he helped me to really just stop focusing on my problems and more so focus on the journey the journey that god's really trying to take me to he's trying to mold me and he really wants to use me he wants to use me as an instrument to help other people to see him i kid you not bro and isaiah doesn't even notice i cried dude i literally cry i was bawling i was like bro like this is perfect timing like i was out here being the most critical version of myself to myself i was being so hard on myself like yo cj you don't have this figured out what's wrong with you i'm 20 years old you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna have anything figured out god has the whole roadmap he just wants me to walk in it you know what i'm saying but sometimes on the journey y'all it's so easy to compare and look where you are and it can really lie to you and make you think that you don't got it here i am last week walking in my vision just trying to make it happen i don't know what video's next but i trust god and i'm just gonna make content that i can help other people to see him whether it's through music whether it's through interviews people asking asking people questions i'm just gonna walk in the vision okay when i focus on the problems when i focus on what it is what it ain't that's when i really get in my head and that's when i stop walking on water and i start sinking I start to drown in my own thoughts and really we can be our own biggest critic when we 
we give into our thoughts, when we give into the thoughts of doubt, the thoughts of fear, anxiety, I'm an overthinker. So when I think about these things, I really start to draw on my thoughts. And one, it's so important to have a circle of people that's gonna pick you up and lift you up. Cause we all fall short. We all can feel like we don't belong. We all can feel like we're not where we're supposed to be. And when we don't have it figured out and we think about that, that's when it really scares us, man. But for anybody that can relate, I feel like the most relatable person in the Bible is Peter. You know what I'm saying? Peter is a very, uh, he was an overthinker, bro. Like there was times in the Bible, he was wild and I ain't gonna lie, but he's just like me. I'm an overthinker, man. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys whether you have ever read this before or have maybe read this before. I want to share this verse with you. I really feel like this is gonna resonate with a lot of you guys, even if you don't really believe like that. I'm putting it on your screen, but we're gonna read Matthew 14, 22 to 33. I'm gonna break it down for y'all. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went onto a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. And the boat was already considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. So basically, Jesus sent his people, right? His disciples are his people, people that follow him. He had them hop in the boat, and basically, you know what I'm saying? He had them hop in the boat, and it's, the boat started going away, right? It started going away from him while he was over here on the mountain, dolly by himself, just praying. So they're getting further and further away from Jesus. They're people, they're the person that they're following. Back to verse 25. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. So this man, Jesus, is literally walking on water. Like, like I hope you guys are understanding this. This man's like, this, this, there's, a, there's a wave right here. He's, he's, he's walking walking on it you know what i'm saying like moonwalking all right 26 when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it's a ghost they said and they cried out in fear but jesus immediately said to them take courage it is i don't be afraid lord if it is you peter replied tell me to come to you on the water come he said like i said peter is like us bro he could be overthinking so like yes it's it's, all, it's jesus they can see him but peter's like nah if it's really you bro if it's really this is what you were telling me right now I need you to prove it. Let me walk on water with you. And Jesus said, come. Then Peter got down out of the boat and walked on water and came towards Jesus. So this dude, Peter, is literally walking on water. He's doing a miracle. He's doing what Jesus had set out for him to do. He's walking on water. He's doing it. Sometimes we'll be in motion. We'll be doing what we're doing. But when we're actually focused on our purpose and what we're doing, we do it. Think about that. When you're walking down the street, you don't be thinking like, oh, uh, left leg, right leg. Let me just keep, you know, you just do it. You're just moving in whatever you're supposed to be doing. You're taking the steps, even if you don't realize it, you don't even be thinking about, you're just kind of doing it, right? Let's go to verse 30 real quick. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshiped him saying, you are truly the son of God. Now this is deep, all right? I'm gonna break this down because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if y'all hear me right now. So Peter is literally walking on water, right? Imagine seeing that, you just go to the beach, you see someone just casually walking on water, okay? He was just doing it, he was just walking to Jesus, right? He was just doing what his purpose was, was to follow Jesus, right? That's his purpose. Us as the disciples, that's our purpose, to follow Jesus and you know honor him with what we're doing. And it says in verse 30, but when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord save me. He was doing it, he was already doing it. He didn't even have to think about nothing. He was literally following Jesus. But when he saw the wind, Ooh, when he saw the wind, that's when he started to worry. And then when we're focused on the worry, that's when we start to sink. So let me let me let me talk to y'all real quick, okay? And even if you're not a disciple, this is gonna relate to you. I'll speak through my example, okay? When I'm posting on this channel, when I'm doing it, I already know how to do YouTube in a way. Like you know, thank God, I'm, it's a gift of mine. So I'm just doing the process steps. I get the idea, I post it, I record the video, edit it, and do everything I'm supposed to do. The process. I'm kind of just doing. it. I'm not thinking like, oh, what if the camera uh, dies? What if this happens? What if that happens? I kind of just do it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like walking. And that might be for you guys too, if you guys like work a job you kind of just do it over time it's more so like a habit or something that you're kind of used to doing and whether you're starting out or whether you you're it's like a habit for you you're doing it at the end of the day you don't even realize it but you're doing it. you're doing whatever the task at hand is and you're doing it in motion with it but when you start to overthink the wind so like the wind in this story right here represents all the problems that come with it because let's be real there are moments and there are things that come that try to that distract us and try to take our attention away from what we're doing so if i'm driving my car right i'm driving the v but then i start looking at the mirror right the mirror like the, the front mirror and i see a car is like really close behind me i get anxious oh my gosh why is this car so close what if he crashes behind me what if i drive too slow i stop focusing on what i'm supposed to be doing and what i'm doing and driving now i'm focusing on a problem behind me i'm worried about anything else that's going on right you're going to crash if you're paying too much attention that's what peter did he was walking he was doing it he was literally doing it he was walking on water he didn't know how he was doing it but he was doing it okay he was focusing but when he starts to see a little bit of wind a little bit of distraction a little bit of the what if this wind pushes me a little bit of oh my gosh what's going on he started to sink and that could be us 
us when we're in our own thoughts, man. You can literally be doing something so great, you don't even notice it. You don't even notice the mountain you just scaled, the mountain you just climbed. But when you start to worry about, oh my gosh, what is going on? Why is this happening? Why is that? You start to focus on anything else that's going to distract you. That's when you start to sink, man. That's when you really start to feel like you don't belong. You don't deserve to be there. You're not doing it the best of your ability and you just start to overthink and just, yeah, bro. Peter was sinking and he cried out to God, please save me. Like, what? I thought you had my back. And the whole time he did. But the thing is, Peter stopped believing in himself. He had doubt. And Jesus says in verse 31, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? And that could be us when we're really in our own heads. And that's what Satan, that's what Satan's goal is. If Satan, Satan can take our hope, if Satan can take our joy, if Satan, if Satan can take our joy, if Satan can distract us in any sort of way possible, he will. And when we give into it and we look at it, that's just when it's going to hurt us. That's when it's going to sabotage us. That's why whatever we do, we need to have faith in whatever we're doing. Because that moment when we don't, when we're giving into our fears and doubts, doubt is only going to sabotage our faith. It's only going to hurt us. We need to resist our fears and doubts with faith. Because faith is going to, because faith will take us down a great route. But if we give into fears and doubts it could either block us from getting there and even leave us to regret wishing that we did it so i don't know if this speaks to anybody watching this video if you ever wanted to start posting on tiktok start posting on youtube go after this job or just start this thing that you've been waiting to start but you haven't gotten into it because of fear and doubts don't be like Peter. Take it from Peter. Don't worry about the other things that are coming along with it. Focus on the goal. Focus on your purpose. Because when you're focused on the doubts and the fears, it's going to block you from anything that God is trying to take you to. You know what I'm saying? God has a plan for every single one of you watching this video. And having faith will drive us there. When you focus on Jesus and being like him, you don't have to focus on your problems and all the things that can't happen. Because with God, anything's possible, okay? I really hope this sticked out to you guys. I hope this helped out. I don't know if I said it the best way, but if, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. And if you didn't understand, it would be helpful if some of you guys guys kind of explain what the scripture meant to you because maybe that might speak to somebody else but yeah this is a minor story time right? i got a lot yo i got a lot of stories to really talk to you guys about i'm gonna be an open book on this channel i'm gonna be the most vulnerable version of myself i believe if you guys can see like the wounds that i've had to heal from you believe it's possible too right you guys will believe that you guys can heal from your situation and you guys can see the jesus in me all right love you guys stay blessed i want to leave you guys with this scripture on your screen right here too because this is a good one to really just drive your faith jesus is the perfecter of faith so go to him go to the bible go to prayer search for him do tiktok youtube all that type of stuff there's a lot of people that are sharing his message on there too so shout out to them shout out to you guys i appreciate you guys watching this video i'm gonna see you guys